lovelies, uh, welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a book review on Lolita by Vladimir Nabokov. And this is like a classic. It's published in 1959. It is definitely a classic. So this is probably one of the books that has been referred to in other books that I read. So I've actually been really curious about this book for a really long time. And I'm glad I read it. So this is about uh, the main character Humbert Humbert who is telling about a time long ago. So he's telling it from a viewpoint when he's sitting in prison. He's basically telling the story of how he got a job as a English professor and so he moves in with this um, woman and her daughter and he basically falls in love with the daughter and a family and to stay with her he basically marries her mom and he really hates her really which is kind of funny but uh, it's also a book about like pedophilia and stuff. The book is divided into two halves, the first part and second part. The first part is fairly innocent and his intentions seem fairly innocent and kind of funny. There's a lot of funny moments I'd say, but mostly like parts where the authors really played on the writing and the character Humbert Humbert. What happens is that Lolita, as this little girl is called, which is 12 years old, and Humbert Humbert, they go on a road trip that lasts for about two years. And during this road trip, they like basically have sex several times. And sometimes he rapes her, sometimes he doesn't. But let's keep in mind, she's 12 years old, so it doesn't really matter. So I really do have a liking for books that I've written in this area. I've read quite a few books, and the language is quite complex, but it's also really, really well written. Like, I just really loved the writing in this book and the characters and everything and all the characters are they're both funny and terrible kind of in their own ways but as the story goes on it becomes more and more dark the things that he does to Lolita and the way like the relationship is portray portrayed is just awful at the end so in the beginning he says something like this the passion I developed for that nymphit nymphit is kind of the term that he uses for uh, young girls that are not teens but not children either and it's kind of what like what his preference is and he calls Lolita like a nymphit and that word has just become like taboo for me like it's just so gross like now if I hear that word I like never think of anything else but like this book so here's what it says the passion I developed for that nymphit would have certainly landed me again in a sanitarium had not the devil realized that I was to be granted some relief if he wanted to have me as plaything for some time longer. So he basically understands that what he's doing is wrong, but in some sense he he thinks that because like the devil let it happen or because God let it happen that it's allowed to happen, um, which is kind of like a viewpoint that he has throughout the book. Before anything has really happened between Humbert, Humbert and Lolita. He describes his feelings for her as pathetic because despite the insatiable fire of venereal appetite, I intend with the most fervent force and foresight to protect the purity of that 12 year old child. Which is so ironic because he talks about her purity and to protect it and all he ever does is basically completely ruin her and her childhood, her whole development uh, as a human being in the beginning. But the thing that kind of struck me as weird is that Lolita, as a child, she's very flirtatious. She flirts with Humbert and she doesn't really understand sex as a whole. And this is kind of what makes it conflicting for the reader because as a child she obviously can't understand what she's doing, but at the same time, she keeps uh, having a liking for him, in a way. Here is actually an interesting point that he talks about, like, a, p a viewpoint of, like, pedophilia as a whole. He says, I knew I'd fall in love with Lolita forever, but I also knew she would never be forever Lolita. She would be 13 on January 1st. In two years or so, she would cease being a nymphite and would turn into a young girl, and then into a college girl. The horror of horrors. Which is kind of, like, unfortunate for him. Like, I know it's a terrible thing to say, but you do kind of feel sorry for him because you've, you've read the whole book from his point of view. Humbert, Humbert is a very strange narrator because he keeps referring to himself like in third person. 
and as different things. Like he would be like Humbert Humbert, the American novelist. Humbert Humbert, the Hummer. Humbert Humbert, the butcher or whatever. You know, like he he would do those things, and I don't really understand why he does that. But it's also kind of funny. So at the end of everything, I watched the movie and not the. Uh, the 90s version of the movie, but the early version of the movie where actually the author, uh, Vladimir Nabokov, has written the screenplay for the first Lolita movie. I feel like the movie wrongly portrays the, the book because the movie seems rather innocent and for a person who's younger, they could watch the whole movie and they wouldn't understand what actually is going on because nothing is directly told in a way. It's all kind of presumed. Yeah, so basically why I'm sitting here today is because the first scene when you meet Lolita for the first time, she's sitting at a blanket uh, in her yard and she's tanning and she definitely does not look 12. In the movie, the movie they never say how old she is or anything like that, but she definitely seems older. But the character Lolita in the movie as well was just really good like I admire her like I really liked her as a character in a way that I didn't really like her in the book but the whole brutality of the the book like what happened uh, towards the end and how everything just kind of shifted really wasn't there in a the movie and that was kind of a pity uh, but all the characters were really really well I liked Humbert Humbert he was a lot like I imagined but there's just so many thoughts that you get in the book, like the way he sees the world, the way he sees Lolita, that are really just you don't get in the movie at all. But yeah, so here uh, is the last two quotes that I'm going to say, which is kind of what you get in the book but you really don't get in the movie. After he has basically abused her for a while, he says this, It was something quite special, that feeling. An oppressive, hideous constraint as if I were sitting with a small ghost of somebody I had just killed. So here you really get the feeling that he has killed some part inside of her. He has made her into a ghost of a child that will never really be the Lolita that he wants her to be. And this does not really come forth in the movie at all. But here's a quote that really describes how she is in the movie. But this quote is never actually stated in the movie, which I really missed. So here it says, she says, You chump, she said, sweetly smiling at me. You revolting creature. I was a daisy fresh girl and look what you've done to me. I ought to call the police and tell them you raped me. Oh, you dirty, dirty old man. So this is kind of the way she is in the movie where she, she half, half is ruined and knows what's happening to her and half just hates him, um, which is really strange. But at the end of the day, I gave this a 4 stars and I highly recommend this book. I think it's a really important book. But it made me feel so much and I feel so guilty for reading this book because it's such a controversial topic. Like, I feel gross for liking this book. Because there's so many parts where he says, like, she did her nightly, du like, nightly duty and stuff that I just... It makes me so freaked out. But at the same time, I absolutely love the book. So... I do really recommend it. So I think that was a kind of long review, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. And also, I did a remake of this cassette holder that will be posted soon. Uh, it's also really cool, so look forward to that. I hope you guys all have a really, really lovely day. And tell me in the comments what you thought of the book if you read it. And I will see you guys soon. Goodbye!